Hello? Hello? Is this thing on? Hello? Um, hey, hi guys. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm back. <laughs> uh, Varlamore, I believe, is the new, um, expansion that just came out, like, two days ago. So, um, yeah, I haven't logged in for, like, I think it's been a few months, honestly. And, um, first thing I decided to do was come to Miscellanea before I do any of the new quests. Um, so let's go ahead and check it out and see what we got in here. Okay, not bad. Some God's Eggs. I think I got some in the bank too, so not a bad pull. Those uh, bird's nests are pretty nice for rain, uh, brews, brews. First day back, first raid back, first purple back. Second raid since coming back. No purple. New PB, 21 minutes? That's crazy. But the new uh, updates they've done to, to uh, Chambers and Zarek is nuts. It makes these raids so fast. I can't believe that was only 21 minutes. Wow. So since I've been gone, um, Jagus made an update to raids where you can scale your raids and scout them all in the same room. Well, you can scale them once here. You just got to type in the number. And then it's scaled. And then inside the room, you can... Um, I'll show you here. You can reset the raid without having to leave, which is really nice, actually. So all you do is hit reload on the steps, and voila. You reset the raid, and there's a bank in here, which is really nice also. Don't have to leave. All right, so I decided to sell some uh, Chaos Runes because I actually do not have an, uh, what's it called, a Fury. So we're going to buy an Onyx and make a Fury. We're going to use that for some solo raids. I haven't done solo Cox in a while. I've gotten one deathless down a long time ago, so I want to get back to that state. And I want to just try and complete this log. If we look at our log for Chambers of Zarek, it's not good. It is... Yeah, we got the pet. We got we got the Kodai. And we have four scrolls. So, hopefully we can get some Ancestral. Really would like the Tebow. And then, uh, you know, just kind of go for there. Have some fun. Let's do this. And the, the new um, updates to Chambers really helps out with souls as well. So, I'm going to look into those a little bit and then get started. There was an update to the spell book as well. To get to the jewelry enchantments, you click this, and then here. Pretty nice. And now we have a Fury on the account. Let's go. Here we go. First solar raid, and I don't know how long. I didn't die at all at home, but I did do a um, suicide. Very rusty, very rusty. For the no purple. That's okay. 22,000 points. Can't complain there. And this ulm was the smoothest solo so far. Did we get lucky with the... We do not. What's the loot? Really smooth raid. We did do a suicide. We got a dark relic. We brought in, I think, like 12 brews here. We have one, two... Hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we picked up like three off the ground and still have five in the inventory. Probably getting close to being able to do a deathless. We didn't use all the restores. Probably only need to bring three restores and one prayer hands, and use one to have stamina. So getting better, not too bad. All right, after completing a few solos, this is about the inventory I'm going with right now. Um, got a seven piece uh, mage swap because uh, we keep the Aram skirt on, and we have a five piece range. I have the assembler with me, but um, I'm not going to bring it just so I have an extra inventory space because I'm still learning. We're going with three restores this time. Uh, one prayer enhanced, one overload, two stamina's, and we did suicide. We have ten brews on the floor, four restores, uh, one overload, and one prayer enhanced. Still eight thousand points, so decent raid. And we're going in with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight brews. I'm gonna see how long I can hold on to these brews without having to pick up any on the floor, and um, see if we can increase our efficiency. Let's do it. Here we go. Let's go. We did it. No purple, but that is okay. We used zero supplies on the floor. That's 10 brews there. Didn't pick up one. I think we brought in eight brews and we survived. And we didn't even need to pick up that extra restore. But it might have been... I don't know. Might have been good to maybe not bring in the enhance and bring in extra restore. I don't know. We'll test it again. But not a bad raid at all. We like it. We like it. All right. We're going to go in with the same inventory setup and see if we can do the same thing as last time. Not use any supplies on the ground. Let's go. Let's go. 
Didn't grab any of the items off the ground, which is good. And we got a white light. That's okay. So we came in. We started prepping a little bit less. So I have eight. I brought in eight brews, three restores. And I guess I don't need an overload in prayer hands anymore because we don't use them all. Um, I think I brought in four restores, which I don't know if I need that last one. But I think it's a little bit more comfortable, I guess. Maybe I'll do it without the prayer in hands and just do four restores in one brew. Maybe I'll try that next raid, but yeah, no deaths there. Let's go let's see what the loot is. Mahogany planks and dynamite. Oh God, am I going to die here? It's a white light. Not a bad raid though. 28 minute. I think that's a new PB. Yeah, 28 minute. Nice. That's what's up. Decided to do a quick little armor trip just because I am currently on task. So see if we can get lucky. We are missing the armadillo body, so it would be really nice to get that since we do have the uh, Missouri body. So we want to get that, um, you know, upgraded basically. So here we go. No, another armadillo helmet. <laughs> no, we need the chest plate. That's okay. I guess we, can we use that for? We might. I gotta look up to see how many pieces I get from that. I just looked it up, so this will break down into one armadillion plate. I don't know if I have any in the bank now that I think about it. Um, because I think I broke down another one, but I think I did that for the mask. So we still need a chest plate or some legs here so we can make the Missouri um Missouri top. Props. But yeah. No way, yes! Oh my god, last kill. We had one sip of Super Restore left. We are done with Armadillo. Oh my god, that's so big. That is so freaking big. Huh! Quick look at the log. We completed Armadillo and 490 KC. That is nuts. <laughs> that's so good. In between raids, I did decide to start doing some Temporos just because we want to complete the log and get the fish barrel. Which will help us out in the long run if we can get that fishing pit. That's our first one in 38 KC. That's kind of crazy. Two, one, and only the soak pages this time. Let's go. No deaths there. Got a dark relic. Not too bad. We didn't have to use any of the supplies on the ground. I think we try a... I know death, or I'm, I think I'm going to bank the imbued Guthix cape so I can bring in one extra brew. And I think we might be good for a solo. I think. I think we're going to try. Alright, I think I'm going to start doing solos without deaths, guys. So I really only need like 10 in Darken Juice. Maybe a little bit more just in case. And like 5, I'm just coming off being sick. And like maybe 5 Stinkhorn. Mushrooms, I'm going to go in. I'm going to show you guys my new um, inventory setup here in just a second. Let me go ahead and finish this prep real quick. All right, this is going to be the new inventory setup. We're going to go in without doing a suicide. I'm going to drop the prayer in hand and just bring in four restores and overload. And then it'll be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine brews going in, which should be enough as long as I don't make too many mistakes in there. So here we go. Hopefully we can uh, get this done. This will be our second ever no death. Because we've we've done one in the past where we did no death on um Ulm. So here we go. Here we go. 8 HP and we did it. No death solo. Let's go. Oh man, that's good. What a good feeling. 31k points. 33 minute raid. Not too bad. We're going to do this little walk up because why not? For the white light, I'm sure. Yep. <laughs> We did it. Aventos and Toad Flax. Toad Flax is actually really nice. I think I'm going to end the video right there, guys. Now that I can finally get back and start doing solo raids with no deaths. We'll show the loot real quick. We've done 24 raids this episode. Um, since coming back, from taking a long break from the game. I'm excited to come back. We went back to Temporos as well because we want to get the Fish Barrel just for some AFK activity. So we'll probably be grinding that on the side. But I think we're just going to full send Cox. And uh, hopefully we can get a Tebow and then take that Tebow to TOA and finish up Missouri because we have this arm of plate body in the bank right now. We haven't broken it down yet, but basically we'll be using that for to um, what's it called? Fortify the Missouri body. And then hopefully we can get the chaps and complete full Missouri and then 
if you look at our log, um, and TOA is what kind of burnt me out. That's why I stopped playing. If you look at TOA, the log is almost, oh, that's not it either. Almost complete. We're missing the staff and the chaps, and we got the pet too, so. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. I'm back. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.